welcome to itsrafik in this video i am going to explain the exercise question of chapter 5 in previous video i have already explained question a b and c here i am going to, going to explain the remaining one now question number d we have to display this following triangular pattern with numbers the first row will contain 2 which is aligned in center then second row 2 3 4 then 2 3 4 5 6 so to start this program first we'll take three variables i and t i j k now we'll take the main loop now let's see the main loop will run three times as there is three rows and for space we'll take another for loop and for to display the numbers we'll take one more loop now we are going to use the for loop for first we'll use i i equal 1 i less than equal to 3 because we need only three rows then each time i increment by 1 inside the for loop first we'll write the program to give the spaces so 4 here we'll write j j equal 1 then j less than equal to 3 3 minus i means first time the spaces will be 3 minus 1 2 2 and uh, second time the spaces will be 1 then semicolon each time j plus plus then we'll insert it write a printf statement and here we'll add slash n not sorry two spaces now semicolon will come out from this for loop another for loop here we are going to use k for k equal we'll write because uh, you can see in questions the numbering start from 2 2 3 4 like that so there is two options we can add the value with the variable or we can directly show here suppose just i am writing with the variable k equal 1 k less than equal to k 2 into k 2 inside bracket we'll write 2 into k minus 1 then k plus plus inside this for loop we'll display the value of k so print f percent d and the location is k semicolon will come out from this loop will enter in the parent for loop here we'll add one printf statement and here we'll add just slash n now we'll exit from this outer for loop also here we'll add return 0 which indicate the end of the program now let's run the program oops here 2 into i not k 2 into i minus 1 now let's run the program you can see 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 but here we can give us one space now let's see 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 now we need the numbers from 2 not from 1 so what we will do each time we can do plus 1 k with the value of k we will add 1 so k equal k plus 1 
this way we can write now the numbers will display from 2 2 4 2 4 6 So this way we can add with k plus 1 then we will get this output from the question you can compare it is 2 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 6 and if you want to give two spaces in between the numbers then you can do that just with percentage give one space and here one more space now we will get two spaces between the numbers as you can see here so this way you can solve the question number D of exercise 5 you can take screenshot and note down the answer and here we why we are use, uh, writing 2 into i minus 1 first time the i value is 1 so 2 into 1 1 1 minus 1 it will be 1 only so the program will run next time again now, now i will will be 2 so 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 it will be 3 so again the condition uh, k will be 2 here condition remain fulfilled so again it will run so this way this program work and we have another method to do this one we can start k from 2 also but when we start from k2 then will not minus 1 from here because if we do subtract then the condition will remain false and the program will not run for the first time now let's see you can see the output is same now let's see how we can do the question number E now we are going to do question number E the same thing triangular pattern but here one is dif one difference is there 1 1 to 1 1 to 3 to 1 here the numbers are in like a palindrome palindrome form means if we reverse the number di digits will get the same number but here the numbers are serial numbers or consecutive numbers so let's see how we can do it now first uh, to display the rows we need one loop and to give the spaces we need another loop to display 1 1 2 1 2 3 we need one loop and to display 1 2 1 we need another loop means total four loops we required so let's see let's start first we'll create the variables i and t i for the main loop j for spaces k for 1 1 2 1 2 3 and p4 this one 1 and 2 1 now first uh, to repeat it five, uh, three times we'll create the main loop for i equal 1 i less than equal to 3 i plus plus now inside the for loop we'll create another for loop for spaces for here we'll write now k k equal 1 k less than equal 3 minus i then each time k plus plus here we'll just add one printf statement and we'll give the space in between quotation now we'll come out from this loop now we'll write another for loop here we are going to use variable j j equal 1 j less than equal i then j plus plus now we'll inside the loop write printf statement here we'll add percent d and the location of the value of d is stored in 
j semicolon in the main for loop we'll add one printf statement for new line here we will use slash n quotation now let's run the program and see so we can see here 1 1 2 1 2 3 but according to questions we need again 1 in second line 1 in third line 2 and 1 so for that we have to do another for loop we have to write another for loop just before printf we'll write for now we'll use variable p p we will start from 1 sorry p we will start from 1 and we'll go p less than i then p less than equal to i minus 1 then i sorry p plus plus and inside it we will write printf statement and we'll display the value of p so percent d and the location is p then semicolon now let's see the output or previous output i have not closed so let's see now the output is same as book 1 1 then 1 to 1 then 1 to 3 to 1 so this way you can solve the question e now if you want to give two spaces the same thing you will have to do add one more space here and with the percent d you add one extra spaces then you will get two spaces between the numbers as you can see it here we will discuss question number f and g in next video thank you for watching if you want to see the same video in sms you can subscribe to the to my next channel Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then take care and bye.